the outpouring just keeps going on and on and on. Thankful for everyone's support, a family says a six-year-old Kenosha boy is out of the ICU, but not out of the woods. And that's our big story tonight at 9. We first told you about Alex Hook, who was hit by a piece of debris that came flying out of a lawnmower nearly two weeks ago now. On the playground, as Fox 6's Bill Miston explains, the six-year-old is still fighting, but the outpouring of support from across the world is providing his family hope. Bill? Good evening, Ben and Mary. Alex's family saying that the boy now out of the ICU, in upgraded condition to stable and on a neurology floor here at Children's Hospital. That said, still a lot of unknowns. You know, with these types of brain injuries, both short-term and long-term prognosis. But one thing that is giving the family hope is just the sheer uh, overwhelming amount of support that's been provided to them from people all across the world who have been touched by this story. I don't know anybody personally in Australia, but they reach out fairly regularly asking about his condition. Michelle Kirchin says she would have done things differently if she knew her inbox would be inundated with messages of support for her six-year-old nephew, Alex Hook. Alex was injured when he was struck in the head by a piece of debris from a lawnmower while outside his Silver Lake school on September 10th. It's been touch and go since, until Monday, when Alex was taken off a ventilator and moved out of the ICU to a neurology floor, his condition upgraded to stable. It's like an emotional roller coaster. You, you, know, you take one step forward and then all of a sudden you take a couple steps backwards. As Alex deals with an infection, fluctuating heart rate, and possibly another surgery if a drain tube can't be removed without further complications. Not to mention issues with his fine motor skills on his right side. But given Kirchin and especially Alex's older brother Nathan and parents hope. Thankfully, Alex is able to speak a little bit now and I think that gave Nathan and well, frankly, all of us some relief. Since starting a Facebook page for updates, Kirchin says the support has been overwhelming, as has the monetary support for Alex's mounting medical bills, raising more than $150,000. People are reaching out from all over the world, and it really does do something to restore your faith in humanity when you see something like that, because let's face it, we get a lot of bad news. And now Alex's family hoping for only good news in what will be a long road of recovery ahead. And definitely a long road of recovery indeed. Kirchin's uh, telling me that her family has been absolutely blown away, though, by the level of care and support of the doctors and staff here at Children's Hospital, wanting to especially thank them, as well as extend a thank you to the thousands of people across the world who have heard this story and, you know, come forward and given some support to their family during this time. If you'd like to help their family, we do have a link to a GoFundMe on our website at fox6now.com. Mary? So nice to hear some positive news on his progress. We're all pulling for that little boy. Thank you for the update, Bill.